It seems simple. We want a car that'll keep going and not have us stranded on the side of the highway in the middle of the night. It's easy to think a brand new car will solve automobile troubles, but this isn't always the case. We dug into Consumer Reports' latest reliability data to provide you with the top least reliable new SUVs you may want to avoid. CR Auto Survey looked at 17 things that can go wrong with a car, from squeaky brakes to all-wheel drive system failures. The researchers then examined at least two model years of data for each car along with the CR's rigorous test drive feedback. Some of these SUVs are not only unreliable, but they are also underpowered and overpriced. Okay, before we get into the list, a special thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this video. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this. And now, without further ado, let's go from the bad to worse SUV. Number 10. Volkswagen Tiguan the 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan was a model that hoped to make up for the shortcomings of the previous years. After all, the company claims this SUV is refined, yet it seems to suffer from many of the problems the previous model years, including defective service brakes and a poorly built structure. Both 2021 and 2022 models are recalled for a loose brake pipe nut that may allow brake fluid to leak, extending the distance required to stop and increasing the risk of a crash. It's one of the larger, small SUVs, and there's an optional third row, which makes it attractive to families who occasionally need a third row but still want a smaller SUV. But the model's reliability issues are a concern for potential buyers. Consumer Reports rate the 2022 Tiguan 1 out of 5 for its predicted reliability and gives it an overall reliability score of 17 out of 100. The poor rating is primarily driven by minor engine issues, suspension, in-car electronics, and body integrity issues. Drivers have reported numerous issues in the timing chain of the car's engine that can arise as early as up to 20,000 miles. Number 9. Volvo XC90 Exacting Swedish construction and the hell-bent ethos of safety over everything have given Volvo a legendary reputation for occupant protection in its automobiles. It's perhaps the company's best-known trait. But just how long can you count on that safety? When it comes to reliability, especially for its XC90 SUV, the consumers have questions. For an SUV that starts at $51,000, you'd expect the Volvo XC90 to come with a sturdy engine. However, complaints filed with the Consumer Reports suggest that the upper midsize premium SUV comes with a lackluster engine that makes clumsy noises and drivers may experience bumpy rides on rough terrains. CR lists the Volvo XC90 as one of the least reliable with a reliability score of 17 out of 100. Minor suspension, powertrain, transmission, and drive system along with body integrity problems contributed to the poor rating. Number 8. Cadillac X-T4 The 2019 Cadillac X-T4 was the first model year for this entry-level luxury crossover SUV, and the 2022 X-T4 is a carryover model with minimal changes. The compact SUV is available with front or all-wheel drive and a 2.0-liter turbo 4 engine paired to a 9-speed automatic transmission. The few-year-old SUV quickly started to get poor reliability feedback on consumer reports. Many drivers reported the engine is loud and harsh, and the throttle is too jerky, and the relatively stiff suspension and unsupportive seats simply make it uncomfortable over long distances. But the primary reason it got a 1 out of 5 reliability rating was due to the transmission, power equipment, and drive system issues. General Motors has issued a technical service bulletin for certain examples of the 2020 and 2021 model year XT4 subcompact luxury crossover for a problem related to the clutch spring retaining ring in the transmission. Vehicles with this problem will produce a warning light on the instrument panel indicating a transmission malfunction, alerting the driver of the issue. If car dependability matters to you, you will do better off avoiding this one. Number 7. Kia Seltos Expect the 2022 Seltos to be much less reliable than the average new car. That's according to Consumer Reports based on its prior year model track record. CR survey results show the transmission, power equipment, and in-car electronics as the primary trouble spots. 
But the issues didn't stop there. The Celto stands out as a loud car. The engine gives off a coarse hum and sounds like it's especially taxed when the driver looks for more acceleration. The 2-liter 4-cylinder base powertrain produces 146 horsepower, which is not only underpowered, but it was also recalled in 2021 for an inconsistent heat treating process. The piston oil rings can damage the engine and lead to a loss of power, thereby increasing the risk of a crash. Dealerships will install software to alert the driver of potential damage to the piston oil ring and, if necessary, the engine will be replaced. If you are in the market for a new subcompact crossover, avoid the 2022 Seltos to save yourself potential headaches. Number 6. Ford Explorer Though it was overhauled, redesigned, and re-engineered for the 2020 model year, CR stated that the Ford Explorer was a middling SUV in a category with some strong competitors. Despite its amazing build, the Ford Explorer disappointed in many categories. The most common problems included transmission, power equipment, and exterior body issues. CR testers felt that the Explorer's 10-speed automatic transmission reportedly had a built-in stiffness which resulted in rougher shifts and a more rigid ride. The second most common issue reported by owners of Ford Explorers is significantly less severe but still noteworthy which is warping and bubbling body paint. Granted, these issues make the car look shabby and could lead to rust, but they're definitely less intense than a failed transmission. Consumer reports feel that the three-row crossover will continue to disappoint owners when it comes to overall reliability and ownership experience, earning its placement on the publication's most recent list of two- and three-row SUVs to avoid. Before we move on to the next SUV, let's talk a bit about Masterworks. I've always considered cars to be works of art. Turns out, I'm not alone. Andy Warhol, one of the greatest American artists of all time, thought so too. Andy loved buying and collecting cars. In fact, this Warhol painting of the Mercedes-Benz W196 Grand Prix car sold for $29.65 million. Crazy, right? And guess what? In certain cases, paintings can increase in value even more than some stocks. That's why some billionaires invest 10 to 30% of their wealth in art. And now you can too, with Masterworks. This innovative company is unlocking the once exclusive art market. Now regular folks like you and me can invest in multi-million dollar paintings. Masterworks research team analyzes over 60,000 data points to find financially attractive works, buy them, then let you invest in shares representing an investment in that painting. Getting started with Masterworks is super easy. Once you create an account, you can browse their artwork and invest in any of the current offerings. From there, you hold your shares until Masterworks sells the artwork or you can sell your shares on their secondary market. And my friends at Masterworks are giving my viewers priority access to a special offer. Just click on the link in the video description to get started. Number 5. Genesis GV80 Genesis GV80 may be one of the safest SUVs which saved the Golf superstar Tiger Woods in the high-speed crash of 2021. But when it comes to reliability, the luxury SUV didn't stand up to its top safety scores. CR survey data shows 2021 GV80 had trouble with the transmission and drivetrain system, which dragged down the predictability rating to 1 out of 5. In addition, the GV80 already has multiple owner complaints registered with the NHTSA. Few complaints involved a check engine light that came on within 30 days of purchase or less than 1,000 miles. Some were due to a possible problem with the engine control system, while the other was a defective fuel injector system. Owners noted that parts were on back order and the car has been in the shop just as long, if not longer, than they actually owned the car. On top of it all, it is an overpriced SUV. The 2022 Genesis GV80 starts at $50,000, but it goes over $75,000 when fully loaded. On average, customers paid over $65,000. Number 4. Mercedes-Benz GLE the new Mercedes GLE is redesigned in 2020 with the latest tech, a spacious interior, and more off-road capability than most owners will dare to explore. 
But according to the CR survey, the luxury mid-sized SUV has some red flags the potential buyer should be aware of. Some of these include minor engine problems as well as those with the electrical system, power equipment, and climate system. The body integrity and in-car electronics also get low reliability ratings. The GLE got a score of 5 out of 100 for overall reliability and a 1 out of 5 for predicted reliability. NHTSA recalled the 2020 GLE 28 times and the 2021 model 11 times for various issues including for powertrain, electrical system, and engine. Before we move on to the next SUV, if you appreciate all this information, please hit the like button and help YouTube to push this video to many other viewers like you. Number 3. Kia Sorento The 2021 Kia Sorento gets a complete overhaul with redesigned exterior and interior with new powertrain options, making its entry into its fourth generation. It's now sharper, edgier, and more handsome on the outside with an elevated sense of comfort and premiumness on the inside. But don't deceive by the appearance of this midsize SUV. The base four-cylinder engine is neither quick nor quiet, but the 281 horsepower turbo four-cylinder that comes on EX trims and higher gives strong acceleration and commendable fuel economy. But unfortunately, its dual-clutch automatic causes some low-speed vibrations. Also, you might hear some unusual vibrations and clunky shifts while in stop-and-go traffic. Handling is responsive, but the ride is rather stiff. CR ranked 2022 Kia Sorento on the very bottom among three-row midsize SUVs due to the below-average transmission, power equipment, and body integrity ranking resulted from survey feedback and test drives. Number 2. Lincoln Aviator The Aviator was the last redesigned for the 2020 model year. Based on the platform of the Ford Explorer, it's known for a tech-heavy interior and some of the most comfortable seats in any midsize SUV. Lincoln has changed very little about the Aviator for the 2022 model year, but if dependability is a key factor for you, you'd better avoid this SUV. CR listed the 2022 Lincoln Aviator as the most unreliable midsize luxury SUV in America. The most common trouble spots include issues with the body integrity and body hardware, including rattling and water leaks along with reports of drive system, transmission, climate system, brakes, power equipment, and in-car electronic issues. The 2022 model was recalled by NHTSA for a fuel system-related issue, which can detach the fuel filler tube and can result in a fuel leak, increasing the risk of fire. Number 1. GMC Yukon, Chevrolet Suburban, and Chevrolet Tahoe The Chevrolet Tahoe and the GMC Yukon are like twins and both ride on GM's newest T1 truck platform. On the other hand, the Yukon XL and Chevrolet Suburban share many things under the hood, so it's no surprise all these SUVs received similar reliability ratings. These SUVs historically suffered from extensive transmission, engine, body, and power equipment issues. CR rated the General Motors GMC Yukon, Chevrolet Suburban, and Tahoe as the most unreliable large and full-size SUVs, and they got the least overall score and reliability rating for 2022. This prediction is based on data from 2021 models, as they are carryover models from 2021 with minimal changes. Though these GM SUVs had the least reliable rating, a high percentage of them made the 200,000 mile mark. One big reason is that they are often used for limousine operations, in which massive mileage totals are racked up in a relatively short period. Another reason, less expensive parts and repair costs, so owners afford to fix the problems and use them for a long time. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please hit the subscribe button and bell notification icon so you won't miss our future videos. Thank you.